Hello, and welcome to the Memory Mixer Design Studio. I don't know if you have noticed, but our photo books at MemoryMixer.com just got even better. Now you can add spine color and text color. So this tutorial, I'm going to show you how easy it is to find the RGB values to do that. The first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that my spine color and text would coordinate with the front cover of my photo book. So as always, my front page or page one will be the cover of my photo book. So I am going to duplicate that page by right clicking on the thumbnail, select duplicate, and now you'll see I have two of my front covers. I am just going to select the first one. And the first step I want to do is I want to come and add a shape. And I am just going to add a square. We'll say OK. And now the next thing I'm going to do is just position it so I can see the nice contrast with my background here. And then I'm going to come over here, change color and I'm going to choose the color picker and now it will just come and I can select any color on that page. So I'm going to select this yellow I'm going to say OK and that doesn't look too bad. If I wanted to keep playing with the color a little bit maybe I wanted to do a little bit lighter or at least see how it looks I will simply take this shape and now I'm going to copy and paste it I will move it just a little over here so I can see both shapes here. And now I'm going to go and do the same steps, just change the color. But the thing you'll see now, because I copy and pasted the original color, I'll come to my color picker again, but now I can see what the color was originally. And now I can come select another color. And if I come down here, I can see how they compare to each other. So you can see it's just a very subtle difference, but let's go ahead and try that. And you can do that as many times as you like, just to make sure you get just the right color. And I think I quite like that color. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the first shape. Yeah, I think that looks quite nice. So the next thing I want to do is now select the color for my text. And I'm going to experiment a little bit, but I'm going to come up here. I'm going to add text. Summer 2005. Now, MemoryMixer.com uses the Arial font. So I'm just going to go ahead and select Arial here. So I'm comparing the exact thing that I will be getting. So the default color is black. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try and see how it looks with this turquoise color. So again, I'm going to change my color. I'm going to pick the color picker. Now I'm just going to grab one of the turquoise colors here. Say OK. Oh, and you can see that maybe there isn't enough contrast between those two colors. So I could try and change the color again and maybe go for a darker shade of the blue. So maybe I can come down here and see if I can grab a darker shade or that. You can see now here quite a bit of difference between the two. We'll say OK. It did help, but maybe it's not quite what I'm looking for still. And so I can simply copy and paste that again. So now I can compare. And I think I might just go for a white. I think white would be cute with this contrast here as well. So I'm going to come over here and now just use my quick change button. Go for a white text. And you can see the difference between the two. Um, for this book, I think I want to go with the white. I think that will coordinate cute. Um, this turquoise color is cute. But I think for this purpose, I'm going to go here. So now to find the RGB values of that color, I will simply come back here to change color. That text is selected. I'm going to come here to RGB. And now it's the first, the R255, the G255, and the B255. So I'm going to simply write those down. And that will be my spine, te or, yeah, my spine text color. 
So we'll just say OK there. And now I'm going to select the shape. Now I've got the shape selected. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come into my change color, but I'm going to go to the RGB tab again. And here's my red, 235, my G, or for green, 200, and the B is 84. So I'm going to mark those colors down, and I'm going to say OK. Now, when I go to MemoryMixer.com, those are the values I'm going to enter. OK, once you have your colors all selected, a very important step. You'll want to make sure you delete this page that we have been experimenting with colors on. So to do that, you will simply come right down to your thumbnail. You'll right click on the thumbnail and select Delete Page. It'll ask you, are you sure? Just say yes. And now you're ready to go to MemoryMixer.com and upload your pages. Okay, I'm at MemoryMixer.com. I've uploaded my pages. I've reviewed them to make sure they are just how I'm thinking. And now I get to enter my RGB values. And that really is just computer talk for colors. So, just as before, I could check here that I do not want any spine text, but you would still be able to add a color. And if you notice here also, the RGB values, 0, 0, 0, defaults black, 255, 255, 255, defaults color is white. So that is Memory Mixer standard option, but now I can come up here and I can change the colors. So for example, I wanted to use the blue that we had done before. I don't really want to, but I want you to see what the colors look like. So I just simply type in 79. The G value was 182, and you can see this is changing as I go, but until you enter the final number, you won't see what the color really looks like. Now my final value is entered, and I will click outside the box, and now you see what the color really is. So I'm going to go for white, and I can see down here that's really 255, 255. So let me just hurry and do that. Okay, and you can also change from field to field just by hitting your tab key. And you can see the color doesn't look right, but as soon as I hit outside of the box, it accepts all three values and white is the color I want. So let me hurry and enter for the yellow, and that was 255, hit my tab key, 200, 84, and click outside here, and sure enough, I've got my yellow. So you can see photo books just got better at MemoryMixer.com. Happy mixing, and I can't wait to see you next time in the design studio.